Hello, this is uh, David Ferguson from MLC CAD Systems, and I just want to take a little bit of time to discuss some of the new options for your waterline toolpath in Mastercam 2022, specifically uh, what we're calling critical depths in waterline. Uh, so I've got a part here, a uh, fairly complex surface, and I've got a, a whole slew of waterline toolpaths that I've, I've written just to sort of show you the different options I can now do with a waterline toolpath. And we'll just start by looking at a traditional standard issue sort of waterline path, um, which at first glance looks okay. Uh, but when I kind of zoom in and I take a, a closer look, I realize one of the problems you do run into uh, with a, a constant scallop or constant uh, uh, step down style of 3D toolpath, which is sometimes various parts of that model uh, fall between uh, the steps. And I can see if I zoom in and take a look at this flat surface here that I'm sort of straddling it with passes. I'm not actually really getting onto uh, the bottom of that wall. Um, and that's not great, you know, that, that's going to require me to come back or, or reduce my step over or try to come up with some solution to make sure I'm including most of the model. Um, what I can do now with a waterline is on my cut parameters page, I now have this option here, the critical depth option, which is new for 2022. And there are a lot of options uh, included in how that works. Uh, and the first option is just to include any flat surface. Um, basically just make sure that the toolpath understands that there are some floors or flat surfaces that it needs to recognize. Um, without that, again, I tend to sometimes miss or straddle those flat surfaces. Um, but with that option checked and with it set to include flats, uh, that toolpath, and we can see this is the one with the uh, critical flats activated, I'm now picking up a pass on that flat surface. Again, the original misses it, just goes to either side of it because it doesn't know it's there. But with critical flats or including flats, I grab that surface and that goes for any and all flat surfaces that I've selected as a drive surface. Now, a couple other things I can do with that. Again, a lot of options. I've got an options to do just flats, which again picks up the flats and adjusts my step over to concentrate on the flat surfaces. Uh, I've got what's called a contact flat. Now a contact flat allows me to basically do the toolpath traditionally everywhere, um, but for those flat surfaces, it's effectively gonna do uh, a small little finish pass just for those surfaces. So as I look around the part, I can see sort of those almost a contour like tool path on those flat surfaces. So it's doing a traditional step over as it did before, but it's just sort of throwing those additional surfaces into the path. Um, I can also limit and just do those flat surfaces. So I can actually eliminate the rest of the waterline tool path and focus purely on those. So it's, it's almost like a little wall finish routine out of a waterline. Um, I can also do a contact flat only, so only those flat surfaces um, with the ability to extend the beginning and end of that path there. So again, sort of like a little lead in and lead out, I can extend that and make sure I'm getting a good run into the cut and a good run out of the cut um, you know, just by basically putting in a slight extension. I can also go ahead and do what's called a manual method, which allows me to select manually which flat surfaces I want to include. Uh, I can do manual only, which again is, is allowing me to basically do just those that I select at particular Z heights and eliminate the rest of the path. Um, I can do a manual contact, which again uh, does the, the little sort of contour style of finish pass at Z heights where I choose. And then of course I have the option to do a manual contact only, which again lim eliminates the rest of the path, leaves the finish passes or those flat floor passes, uh, but only does them at selected Z heights. So I can take a water line uh, from a, a good tool path, but one that, you know, like most tool paths, you know, doesn't do everything you always want it to do. Um, and basically turn it into uh, sort of an elaborate wall finishing routine uh, just by selecting 
uh, my drive surfaces. Uh, again, manual only, contact flats only, uh, contact flat with an extended pass, all very, very cool options for waterline.